Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Sylvia, and I make videos on planning with the occasional review. Planning has always been my way of working out problems and solving the day-to-day -day issues in my life. Join me as I experiment on how to best tackle projects, figure out how to stick with habit tracking, and celebrate the wins, both big and small. So grab a cup or a glass of whatevs, and let's get on with the video. Hey planner friends, so this was a requested video. Uh, people wanted to know how I make my little, you know, sheets here for the year and for the month to go ahead and fold into my planner. This is an A5 Slim Nolte 6501. So you might have to shrink these down depending on um, what size your planner is. And you can either choose to uh, size it down when you first start or you can go when you print it and just size it down there. So make an executive decision for yourself and I thought since um, people are also Mac and PC users I would go ahead and use things that are free and available to both. So the yearly calendar I'm going to make in Google Docs and this one I'm going to make in Canva with the free version. So I am going to go ahead and download an image from papertraildesigns.com. You can download any free you know calendar for the month that you wish. I just like this one because it's really easy to find the years as well as the fact that she has Monday and Sunday starts and I know that's important to people. The other thing I want to mention before we start the rest of the video is that don't print this in or download it in PNG um, because this is what will happen. It will come out really kind of faded and ridiculous and I didn't understand what happened. I was like, why is this happening? And I actually have my canvas set to PNG just because I do my um, YouTube thumbnails in there and that's, you know, the form in which they take and are uploaded in. So I would recommend doing it in a PDF because it comes out nice and crispy crisp and you have no problems. This is the one that I made for June and this was made in preview and like I mentioned I didn't want to do it in preview just because not everyone is a Mac user. And you can see that it's a little bit more dark so you can go ahead and bold this if you want and I think maybe next time I will because I like how dark it is. If this is too hard for you to see, keep that in mind as you're doing this. Maybe you want to use less boxes so it can be nice and big. It just depends on your preference. And on the back of this you can also print things. So this is one that I chose but I do show you other options in the video and I just made some edits to this very simple or you don't have to put anything on the back at all. And I think that's everything I needed to tell you up front. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope that this is helpful, and um, hopefully I will talk to you soon. First, we're gonna open Google Docs, and then we are going to go to page setup and change it from portrait to landscape. We're gonna give this document a title. Mine says year 43, because my goals are set by my birthday year and not by the calendar year. Um, you can do whatever you like, but that's how I roll. Make sure that you put a title before you enter your uh, table. We're gonna do eight by four because that's what works best for me. It gives me three categories in the front and then three categories on the back when I duplicate this page. I always have my table properties open, but for some reason I kept closing it in this video. Uh, these are the measurements that I currently use. I also center uh, my table in the middle of the page, but you can do whatever works best for you. If you wanna change the font, it's all up to you. Um, this font actually I think I got from defonts.com, and you can watch a video on how to um, download those and use them in your fonts. Now, these categories actually come from a video I watched of a woman who created this, but she did it on a sheet of paper, which I thought was really cool, and I will try to remember to link that down below. Um, but I believe they're just the same categories for uh, Sterling Inc.'s Commonplace book. Let me know down below, because I don't actually own that. <laughs> the categories on the side are a little bit trickier. You have to use the drawing insert. Um, once you learn how to use it, it's not that serious. I just wish they had a better way to do do this and maybe there is and if there is let us know down below but I'm just showing you what I know how to do. Um, I usually just copy and paste this once I get it right the first time and I've done a few mistakes in here um, and I thought I'd leave them in just in case they happen to you because it's all trial and error and 
And that way you don't panic and say, what did I do? <laughs> um, hopefully this will be a way for you to fix them. I usually make this as I'm listening to an audiobook or like a podcast, sometimes a TV show in the background that I've already seen, um, <laughs> just to have something else playing as I'm doing this. And then this part is really tricky with the bullets. I had to look this up like four or five different videos because the bullet and the words, there's just such a huge gap and I'm trying to fit so much, um, you know, as much as I possibly can into these little squares. So I figured out how to do that. If you go up to the top um, and you make sure to say show ruler, you'll find these little um, rectangles and triangles um, so that, you know, if you don't have them there, don't worry, um, that's how you find them. You just gotta play with them a little bit until you figure it out. And it took me a while. <laughs> this is all done speedy quick. But note that um, if this video is too fast for you, you can go down to the little gear in the corner and make it slower so that you can see this in a slower time for you. And I, again, I just copy and paste and then I edit each box because that's easier for me, but you can do you. Then I insert a page break so that I can copy and paste this. And the second page will be what goes on the back. And those are my three rows with all of my categories. When you go to print this, um, make sure that you either save it as a PDF, that works best for me, but um, that's pretty much everything. Okay, so now we're moving on to Canva. And in Canva, I always do a custom size and I do 11 by 8 0.5 and then I go and I choose whatever calendar I want to use and I download it and I usually save that to my desktop so that I can find it easier. Um, this is the one that I like and I like it because it's a Monday start but she does have Sunday starts if that's something that's important to you. Then I go and I upload it into Canva. Um, I usually drag and drop until it fits the page. Then I always zoom in so that I can work on one section at a time. And the truth is for this, we're only gonna work on one section and then just copy and paste it to every single day. Um, you need to play around a little bit to find out what fonts um, are free anymore because they did change a lot of things. So a lot of the fonts I used to use are no longer free, <laughs> which is sad. But once you learn how to edit any of the shapes, it's pretty easy to change the colors. I'm just trying to make a checkbox here. And I find that it's easier to make all of this individually so that you can size things and line them up nicely. If you try to write one big old like block of text, it's really hard to make things fit in my opinion. <laughs> um, and I always like to do more than uh, one shape. I do my squares for tasks and then I do like a star of the day, like one important fun thing that happened. And then I do like a circle, which is like a different event or something else um, that I hope that I do every single day. And I think I chose actually exercise for the circle this time. Once you have everything done, you can go ahead and click and highlight all of these so that you can copy and paste all at once, or you can even group them. And then you just move them over and just repeat until you are completely done. Uh, last month, I went ahead and did exercise for every other day. This time I just wrote exercise and put a dash so that I could change it. The 1K is for how many words I'm hoping to write every single day. And then I just copy and pasted the same font up here for my goals that I put at the top. And then I just changed the size later. So I did a 12 font at the top and I believe like a 5.6 in the actual days. So if that's too small for you, you can adjust it however you wish. Remember to hit PDF so that it doesn't come out all wonky. And that is everything. And also if you want to print something on the back, like you want to do a to-do list or something else, that's something um, that you can also do in Canva. So I would recommend just making a second page and then putting to-do list in. And um, yeah, don't spell uh, things incorrectly the way I did. 
because uh, I think I do spell to-do list wrong. I, I left the L on there for list, which is pretty funny. You can also change the color if you only have a black and white. Or you're not excited about the color that they give you, so keep that in mind. That one has a color scheme and you can change every single one of those if you want. They even have weekly to-do lists, which is pretty awesome, and schedules as well for fitness. Um, so they have a lot of free stuff here, um, definitely, and you can change these and customize them for however you want.